Hey, this is Kurt from Brother Bees Bees, and we welcome you to another episode. In this episode, we're going to pick up where we left off in the last one. We found a swarm, and in this episode, we're going to look at how I got it into a box, and we're going to do some investigation and try to figure out where the swarm came from. I wanted to know if it came from one of my boxes. So come and join us as we look at our first swarm of 2022 here on Brother Bee's Bees. So in addition to keeping an eye on whether a colony moves in here, I'll be watching today and tomorrow my colonies to see or try to catch a swarm as it's happening. Hive tools have all kinds of uses. You can see I'm using my hive tool to hold up my GoPro. It's a lot warmer. Be careful, don't want to hurt any of them, but especially if I scoop up that queen. Okay, we've got most of the bees are down inside 
the colony. I mean, there's still a few thousand out here, but the bulk of them are in there. And I found the main queen, as is usually the case, the batteries died on both the video cameras. But I put her in there. She looked marked, just a little bit of white marking left. So I've got a suspicion of where she came from. So I'll do an inspection after a while and see if one of my guesses is right. Earlier they were not going to go in in mass yet. The queen wasn't in there. But you can see now that she's inside. They're on the front porch fan. When that happens, they can start coming in droves. You can see the sky is full of bees. So I don't know if that queen is swarmed again. They are all off the branch they were on. So it is completely clean. There's still bees in this box. And there's still bees going in this box. So I'm not sure what's going on. But I do know there is a cloud of bees out here. I don't know if there's another queen. You can hear them. I'm not sure you can see them well on this GoPro. But there's just a cloud of bees right in this area. So all I know to do is kind of watch and see where they go. The bees uh, that we found on the ground and that's, they were in that spot just in front of it. They have kind of settled in this box. We got the queen in there. So you can see the bees are sorting it out and uh, they've kind of settled on that spot. I will leave them there until dark, and then I will move them the other side of those two. There's, a, you might can see a little white board right there, right in there uh, between uh, me and the garage, and that's where I'm going to uh, put this colony but I will not do so until after dark. We'll let all the bees settle inside the box. Then I'll seal the front and move it. Okay, we got the box with the swarm moved. The swarm right over there at the base of that old dead tree. Oh, it's in all that brush at the bottom. So I didn't see any bees coming back. So I just plugged up the entrance with some newspaper just so they would stay in and carried it over here. I'm going to put some brush in front of the entrance and uh, crawling through that in the morning will force them to reorient to the new location. This is what I call the abandoned colony. There were some abandoned bees left behind when a beekeeper pulled some bees from some old abandoned hives. He did it in the middle of the day, so there were a bunch of forager bees that were left behind, three or 400. So I scooped them up, brought them home, 
mix them with some of some bees from some of my other colonies actually I had bees from three different colonies in this box I gave them a frame of brood and eggs and so forth and they raised their own queen I end up giving that queen the name of the white queen because when I marked her I accidentally got way too much uh, paint on her from the paint pen but they cleaned her off and uh, she did well so well that she outgrew the box and she swarmed to kind of put the distance in perspective this is where they swarmed from they basically went out the front of the box and landed right over there just this side of that tree i've got a swarm box on the far side of that tree but anyway that's where they swarm to and you can see she didn't fly very far at all and i have had several colonies that i have had to swarm that I caught basically on the first tree or bush they came to when they came out of the front of the hive. And so I captured the swarm from this hive and they are in a box right over there. Here's our swarm colony the next day. See there, hard at work. Anytime I catch a swarm, I give them some sugar water to give them a little extra energy as they're building comb and frankly, to encourage them to stay. Normally I would not go in so quickly after capturing a swarm, but for the sake of this video, I'm going in just to see if I can get the queen on video. Most of these are deep frames because this is a deep box. But I wanted a couple of combed out frames. So I uh, got a couple frames in here that are mediums. But they're in here because they're combed out. Usually swarm colonies are really, really active. Build up very fast. And they're already combing this out. And it's uh, been less than 24 hours, but I'm telling you, I don't know of any colonies that work any faster than a colony that has just swarmed because they've got to get their new home ready as soon as possible there's the there's a queen right there I said there can be more than one find her again So a queen, there she is. And she's right in the middle of that wad right there. That is a swarm queen. And that is the queen that I dubbed the white queen because I accidentally, when I was trying to mark her, I spilt a whole bunch of white marker paint on her. So that brings our day to a close. I thought today I would just be uh, putting out some swarm boxes and uh, checking on swarm boxes and making sure that uh, they were in good working order. And I ended up at the end of the day with a swarm and a new colony of bees. Thank you for joining me for Brother Bees Bees.